New at 10 tonight, this man, he is behind bars, accused of driving while intoxicated and causing a crash that killed three people, including a pregnant woman and her baby. This happened early Saturday morning on State Highway 360. Our Caroline Vandergriff talked to that victim's family, the mother of that young lady who was killed, and the message they now want others to hear. I haven't processed it. I just think it's a bad dream. I'm hoping it's a bad dream. Pamela Parker says her 28 year old daughter had the biggest heart. Alexis Mills was a mom of four getting ready to welcome a fifth. Her family says she was about seven months along with a baby boy she planned to name Dexter. She's a really trust trustworthy person and I'm going to miss her. Dearly. We're going to miss her a lot. Mills family says the baby's father had a flat tire Saturday morning on Highway 360 and she went to go help him. While their two cars were stopped on the service road, police say an SUV rear ended the second car, causing a chain reaction crash. Justin Dyke was trapped under the SUV and pronounced dead on scene. Investigators say Mills was taken to the hospital where doctors delivered her baby but both ultimately died from their injuries. Her mom says it's not surprising the last thing Mills did was to help someone else. She loved everybody. She'd do anything in the world for you. I'm sorry. Police say the driver of the SUV that caused the crash, 31-year-old Adan Hermosillo Garcia, first ran away from the scene but was quickly found by Mansfield officers. Arlington PD then went through a series of roadside sobriety tests on him. I don't think any family should have to go through something like this. So if you're gonna drink, don't drive, please. Garcia has been charged with three counts of intoxication manslaughter and three counts of failure to stop and render aid. He was originally booked here at the Arlington Police Department's jail, but has since been transferred to Tarrant County's facility. In Arlington, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News. Just tragic there. Okay, thank you, Caroline.